Hi guys and a big welcome back to the channel and also a big welcome back to our last Disney week video. The I can't believe one. it's the last one. <laughs> but silver lining, if it's the last one, that means when this video goes live, we'll be in Disneyland Paris. Which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but Martin is just here. There he is. This is where I've been quite a lot this week. He's been editing away. <laughs> this is actually a little sneak peek of this a is. vlog to come next week whilst we're in Disneyland Paris. It is our staycation mm -hmm. and also our Harry Potter Studios vlog. It is. So you're working hard. Oh, he's got a new haircut as well. Oh, yeah. First time, yeah, showing it on the camera. Looking good. <laughs> but this video is going to be a pack with me. Um, it's just a pack with me. It's not a pack with Martin because he's going to be packing tomorrow, uh, the night before. Um, but I thought I would pack today um, everything that I can and I'll show you what clothes I'm thinking of bringing and toiletries and accessories and all that stuff. I quite enjoy watching people's pack with me just because... It just gets me excited <laughs> and also I'm nosy and I like to see what other people are bringing so hopefully you will enjoy this. So because the clocks have changed it gets dark so quickly so it's about it's nearly six o'clock I think but it is so dark so I've closed the curtains and we've got our big uh, main light on so hopefully the lighting is fine and yeah the video is all right but let's start. So I've started by laying out all my clothes, the suitcase, and my coats. So I'm gonna start with clothes and coats. Um, this is the case we're taking. It's a huge, hard case. I think Martin got it from Matalan. Um, it's an it case. And we're hoping that this will be big enough for both our clothes. And then also, I think we might bring a little case for um, like technical stuff. So if you um, haven't watched our announcement video, uh, we are going for five nights and six days to Disneyland Paris. Um, we're going in November. So it's quite difficult because when I've checked the weather, it's kind of, it's kind of like what it's like in London now. And it's kind of that like in between weather where it's cold, but it's not freezing, but then it's also quite rainy. It's just like a mixture of weather. So I've, I've tried to pack for if it's going to be quite cold because um, I think it's always better to be warm than cold. So we'll start this side. I am going to bring a swimsuit, which you might be screaming, that's madness, it's November. We're staying in the Hotel High Park Adagio um, near Marneville. Um, but it has an outdoor heated pool. Now I'm not sure how heated this outdoor pool is going to be and whether we'll have time to go swimming. But if so... I thought I'll just throw in a swimsuit just in case, you never know. And then I'm moving on to um, pyjamas. So I love cosy socks. I absolutely love wearing them. I don't wear them to sleep, but I wear them if I'm just chilling in the hotel room and yeah. So I've brought two pairs of cosy socks. Then I've brought two pyjamas. These are Disney ones and I actually got these as a gift um, for my birthday whilst I was on the ship from the car so I love these. And these are if it's like a bit warmer in the hotel and I want to wear like short pyjamas because um, we stayed at a hotel recently and the room was so hot. So I've kind of covered both bases because I've also packed a, a trouser pair as well and these were from Next and they are the comfiest pyjamas ever. Uh, Martin's mum and partner actually got me these for Christmas one year and I love them. So that is all my pyjamas. So next are jumpers and actually I've managed to find all Disney jumpers. I didn't think I had as many Disney jumpers as I do but I have this white one and this was also a gift for my birthday so I love this. Really really nice and this one's really warm and it is from Stradivarius and then I'm also bringing this one I actually wore this on my last trip you'll see a few of the same jumpers that I wore last time uh, this was from Primark it says Mickey and Friends and then it's got all the characters on so cute and this one this was a favorite that I wore last November as well it's really long um, so I can wear it just with leggings and boots or leggings and trainers which I love and it's really warm because it is fleeced inside 
and this is from I feel like this was from Boohoo um, but it was a year ago so I'm bringing those three jumpers and then I'm also bringing both of my spirit jerseys um, these are a little bit damp because I've just washed them so I'm gonna hang them back up and not pack them just yet but I have my millennial pink Disneyland Paris one and then I have my peachy coloured rose gold or Disney World one so yeah I'm gonna pack them although I am planning on buying a new spirit jersey so I may only take one of these um, just in case I do pick one up so next we're moving on to t-shirts and tops um, as I said unfortunately I think the weather is quite cold and rainy um, whilst we're there so I've packed some Disney tees but I think they are going to be hidden underneath my jumpers <laughs> um, but I've packed this piglet one from Primark this which I've had loads of questions about and it is this goofy movie one and I actually got this from Naples but I got it from the Disney store but I love it really fun and then these are all just plain long sleeves tops. So I've got a grey one, a pink one and two black ones because I think I'm just going to want long sleeve warm tops under my jumper because um, they're not really going to be seen but yeah just to keep warm. And I'm also bringing just one kind of more fancy top. Um, it's just a black lace top with um, frilly sleeves just in case I fancy wearing this if we go for dinner or if we go for some drinks at Billy Bob's <laughs> or Billy Bob's, <laughs> Billy Bob's. <laughs> hey stop interfering in my packing video you <laughs> yeah just something a little bit fancier to wear if I fancy dressing up might not um, I'm normally really casual at Disney but I thought it's always good to have so next we have just bras and underwear and socks so I don't need to go through all of that but I do want to show you these new socks I got from Primark because they're so cute and um, so I've got these ones that just have little Disney Mickeys on them and then I also picked up these that have stitch on them which I love so I'm going to wear these with my um, boots like there oh so cute so they're from Primark if you were wondering next we're moving on to uh well these are my fleece leggings which i just wouldn't be seen without these are from primark and they are so warm so they had to come with me and then i've also brought another pair of tights they're just black plain tights and then i'm also bringing just a black pair of usa pro leggings just in case i fancy a really casual look to wear with trainers and my spirit jersey and i actually wore that last time in November and it was just really comfy so if I fancy just being super cash I can wear them and then I'm also bringing a black pair of jeans these are just Primark jeans they're just the straight leg jeans um, that have a bit of a rough hem and then I also thought I would just bring a skirt so this is a tartan skirt it's so old I think it's from Primark as well and yeah I just thought I could wear this with black tights or black leggings just if I fancied wearing something other than jeans uh, then I just ran and got these because I'm also bringing a pair of lighter blue denim jeans these are mum jeans from Primark and they are so comfortable so I think I'm gonna live in them at Disney <laughs> and then I'm also bringing it's like a Primark haul <laughs> um, but this is the Primark joggers and they're so comfortable as well um, but I'm thinking of traveling in these so I'll probably wear these in the car um, just so I'm super comfortable but I've just washed these as well so they need to hang up before I pack them and then jacket wise I'm just bringing two jackets I've got my trusty yellow raincoat jacket this was from Next and I love it it's so cute um, but it's also so good if it's really really rainy and it's also quite light so if it's not too um, cold I'll probably wear this one and it's nice and bright as well for Disney um, and then if it's a bit colder, I've got my big black padded uh, coat. And yeah, these are just the two coats that I'm going to bring with me. Yeah, so that is all the clothes and jackets and pyjamas and everything like that that I'm bringing. So yeah, I'm going to start packing it into the case. Now I did have some packing cubes, um, but some of them broke. 
um, whilst I was on the ship and then I, my mum is actually using them because she's on holiday at the moment and she used them. So I don't have any packing cubes and I really miss them actually. I really like using packing cubes now. It's not going to be a professional packing video this because I don't have my packing cubes. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to throw all this in the case and then move on to some accessories. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm bringing two belts, a brown one and a black one. Okay, there we are. So that's looking pretty good. It's all packed away. So I've just got a few bits that are drying, which I'll pop in. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to probably wear the black coat to travel in and I'll just um, throw this yellow coat on top at the end. Okay, so accessories wise, I'm going to bring some gloves. Now, I don't know if it's going to be cold enough for gloves, but I thought it's best to have them just in case. These I got from Sports Direct, I think, and they're more um i don't know but they're meant to be very warm so i'm bringing them i'm also going to bring this scarf now i have quite a few scarves so i don't know which one to bring but i thought this one was gray so it would go with everything and it's also not too thick it's quite thin so i thought for november it'd be quite a good scarf um hopefully if it's not too cold um but also i don't know i just thought it'd be easier to wear around the parks than my huge ones and uh, if you watched our last vlog series, you will recognise this hat, but it is back. <laughs> um, and it is this little pom-pom hat I got from ASOS about a year ago. It was so warm and I just loved wearing it on our last trip. So that's coming again. Oh, you'll also notice that we have Christmas bedding on because, well, mm -hmm. Halloween's over. So Christmas has started. It's not too early. Is it? <laughs> no, I don't think it's too early. <laughs> um, so I'm bringing two pairs of ears. Uh, these are the classic ears. I've had these for ages, so I've got them. And then these, I'm so excited to wear these. So these were very kindly given to me from Chloe and Karen. So I just want to say a huge thank you again. And I just can't wait to wear them on my trip. So they're Pixar ears. They're so glittery and they're just so much fun. So they are definitely, definitely coming with me. A couple of hair accessories, just a red spotty scrunchie. You would have seen this in my last trip. A bit mini mouse this i think um just some nice clips if i just want to jazz up a hairstyle i've thrown in loads of clips <laughs> um kirby grips and hair bands and uh, just because you can never have enough of them just in case and then i am bringing my lounge fly bag so this is the only bag i'm bringing because it is the only bag i use at disney it is just the perfect size for the parks and i just love it so much so I'm so excited to wear this again. So if you watched my pack with me last year, I'm actually bringing the same two pairs of shoes. <laughs> I'm such a creature of habit, but once I find clothes or shoes that work, I'm just like, why change them? So I am bringing my trusty Doc Martens. These are just so comfortable. They've got an insole in them. They're really worn in now. Um, and I just love them. They've got, I don't know if you can see if the camera will pick it up. There we are, but they've got like an impress detail of flowers very faintly on them. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly just going to wear these. And then I'm also just bringing some trainers. I'll probably wear these in the car. Um, and if I fancy being really comfy one day. So these are just Nike trainers, super comfy and just super casual. So for other accessories such as like jewellery, I think I'm just going to wear what I wear every day. So I normally just wear this um, ring from Pandora. My engagement ring, of course, this Michael Kors watch, and I think just these, these little hoops that I wear every day. And I think that's it. Um, I don't think I'll bother with necklaces and stuff just because you're just running around the parks and I don't know, you just, I don't feel like you need that much jewellery. Um, and I also don't want to bring too much with me and then not wear it. So yeah, I think I'm just going to wear my everyday stuff and that's it. Still going. He's still going. I'm still going as well. So I've just set out all the toiletries, hair, tech bits and makeup. Now this is the bit that always takes me the longest uh, packing. I don't know why. Um, but I think I've got mostly everything. Obviously I haven't packed 
my toothbrush and my toothpaste yet because I'm using that so that will be something which I'll pop in um, before we leave in the morning um, but yeah I will show you everything else that I'm bringing so these are all my toiletries I've just got a Dove original this is actually quite a small one um, so I thought this would be good because I can pack this in my park bag um, so I can always have deodorant on me um, this is Dove um, body wash um, this is like an advert for Dove Dove um, body lotion and then I've got all my simple uh, skincare. So this is just the face toner. Um, this is actually boots. This is like a travel size, just a face wash. A light moisturizer, some cotton pads. I've just thrown this here, but I don't think I need the whole packet, but yeah. And then some razors. And then I've just picked up a new flannel as well. And then hair tech stuff. I've got my straighteners. These are just GHDs, but they come with this heat. Um, mat which is so good because um, you can obviously put your straighteners on it um, so you don't damage the surface and then I've got my curlers, a tangle teaser, a little hairspray if I decide to curl my hair I've got my uh, Olympia perfume, there's only a little bit left so I thought I'd bring that and finish it off uh, conditioner and shampoo, I love this, this is the Argan Oil and Morocco and they come in little minis so it's so good for travel I have my Garnier Blends coconut oil. I put this in my hair uh, to detangle it after I've washed it. Um, I love this stuff. And then I have my Impress nails. So I actually wore these on our last Disneyland Paris trip. There we are. Um, so I love these. They literally just press on your nails. So I'm gonna do this tomorrow night, I think, before we leave. And they last about a week. Um, and I wore these on our last Paris trip. And I'm so glad I did, because Martin proposed, so I had nice nails. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I'd get a pair for this trip. They're a bit, bit jazzy. Um, I like the marble, marble nails. Um, but they also come with lots of spares, so I'll bring the packet with me as well in case one falls off. Um, but they lasted really well last time. And then that's just a... I th actually, I don't need this because it comes with a little um, nail file inside. Next, I've literally just thrown all my makeup here, but roughly I'm just bringing brushes. I have the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and then some L'Oreal Infallible if I want a more of a thick foundation but I mostly just wear my Bare Minerals um, powder. I love this and it's actually quite, it covers a lot. Um, it's like medium coverage, it's really good. And then I'm bringing a YSL lipstick. This is like a dark autumn-y colour. I've also just got a MAC. This is just a bright red if I fancy a bright red. I'll mostly just wear this though, it's just a Nivea um, lip balm with just a little hint of colour. So I mostly just wear that during the day. Browsing nail, some uh, powder. I probably won't bring this actually because I'm bringing this. Um, and then I've got Rimmel Scandalize Collection Eyeliner. This is the best eyeliner ever. Benefit Bronzer, Revolution Eyeshadow Palette. This is the only eyeshadow palette I'm bringing just because I love all the like goldy tones if I fancy wearing eyeshadow sharpener and my MAC highlighter um, so I'm going to put all of this in here I'm also bringing this bag um, so I can bring my day makeup and put it in the park bag so I'll just like bring a few things that I need during the day and then lastly I just have a little bag just full of medicine and things like vapor rub, ulcer gel, uh, Feminax paracetamol, ibuprofen, a few time of the month things in case I'm caught off guard, earplugs, yeah just little bits and bobs, tissues, um, just stuff that you may need. So yeah I think that's pretty much everything toiletry wise so I'm gonna pack all that and throw it in the case. There'll probably be a few other bits that I'll be like oh I forgot that so I will make sure I pack them before we leave uh, but stuff like toothbrush and stuff I'm still using so yeah. on to the last little bits and bobs now some of this I can't actually pack because I might need it tomorrow um, but yeah I thought I would show you all like the miscellaneous bits uh, that we're bringing so to start off I'm bringing all these pins um, because we're getting an annual pass when we arrive I'm hoping to also buy a lanyard and then I'm gonna wear all the pins so I've got Sophie and Dave's chip pin I've got this from Ellis Woolley's shop I love this it says we're all mad here and then I'll pop both, oh well I think Sophie and Dave um, 
have sold out of these and I don't think they're getting any more um, but I'll definitely pop a link to Ellis's shop if you fancy picking up this pin and then I'll also link to our shop where you can pick up our slinker dog pin <laughs> but we are so excited to wear these at Disneyland Paris so they are a must also a must is an umbrella because yeah the um, weather forecast doesn't look the best so I think we definitely need an umbrella with us. And this is quite a nice small one, which I'll be able to fit in my park bag. It wouldn't be a So Helena and Martin trip if we didn't bring our hot hands. Our hot hands. <laughs> I knew. Hot hands, baby, got those hot hands. I've been sat here waiting for that to happen. Yeah, I knew. Because you had headphones on, but I was like, I bet as soon as I mention hot hands, I'm going to hear from you. <laughs> and I did. So as you know, we love hot hands. You can get them from Amazon and they are just the best. Um, so basically they're just little hot hands that you, as soon as you take them out the packaging, they warm up. You can wear them in your gloves or in your pockets and they're just so good when you're like waiting for the fireworks or a parade. And yeah, it just keeps you, keeps you nice and toasty. So we've got a lot of them. Next I've got just a bit of an electrical assortment. So um, I'm using the vlogging camera, but this is the case for our vlogging camera. In here are some memory cards. We have our charger for the battery. If you remember our last trip, we forgot this. Um, luckily we managed to charge it another way, but we're definitely remembering this this time. We have a Slinky Dog charger. We have an adapter so you need this adapter for France um, we're also going to bring an extension cable so that we've got a few more plugs uh, but we're using it at the moment but we're going to bring that my wireless headphones this is another charger and this is actually what saved our camera last time um, and this is just a Primark portable charger uh, which I picked up like a year ago um, but we were able to charge the camera through this so we're going to bring this in the park bag so that if our camera or our phones die, uh, we have this. We're also bringing our Blu-ray player. This is the remote. And then we're bringing two Blu-rays, Oliver and Company and Beauty and the Beast. There's a flat screen TV in the apartment we're staying in. So we'll be able to watch some Disney films. Probably won't watch them both, but we thought we'd just bring them if one night we fancy having a chilled evening. Then I've just got all the normal stuff. So I've got my phone. I picked up this phone case from Primark for a pound the other day. It says, who runs the world? Girls. And then it has Bo Peep on it. And then I have my purse and I actually wanted to show you, well I won't show you actually, um, but inside I've got a travel money card that we picked up from the post office. So we're mostly going to be using that for our money instead of bringing actual cash. I have my passport which is very important. I have this little card holder from Kath Gidson which I'm going to put in the money travel card so that I don't have to bring my whole purse and my part bag. I can just bring this and my ID and stuff. I've got little Chip, which just has some loose euros in. So I'm gonna bring him in my park bag. And then I've bought a book as well, just in case I fancy reading at any point. Um, I've been trying to finish this book for ages. Um, it is quite good, but yeah, just haven't got around to it. So Martin is also bringing his laptop and he's also bringing a few other like technical bits that we need for the vlogs. But mostly that is everything. I think we might be able to fit it all in one bag because I've only used half so far and I think Martin will only use half of the case for his clothes. So yeah, I think it might all fit in one case, which will be great. So a few bits of that I couldn't pack because some's going in my park bag um, and then some we need to use still. But yeah, I've managed to fit most of it just in this side. And then this side, I've just got the Blu-ray player and then Martin has all this space for his clothes. So yeah, I think we've done pretty well. So that is everything that I am taking to Disneyland Paris. I hope you enjoyed. I think we're also gonna bring, what we'll use that little case for is we're gonna bring some food with us because we're staying in like a studio apartment it has a kitchenette so we can bring stuff like cereal uh, we can buy milk when we're there to have um for breakfast we can also bring stuff like pasta and sandwiches and yeah we can basically just bring food with us um which will save us a bit of money as well whilst we're there so yeah i think we will bring some food along with us 
Um, but apart from that, that is everything. And it feels so strange that I've practically packed for Disneyland Paris because that means it is so close. Actually, when you're watching this, we will be there. So make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitter. I'll pop them along the screen now um, because we'll be updating live from Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Here we will. I know. It's crazy. So the next time you see us will be on Monday and Thursday for two vlogs. Uh, we have one from our staycation at a hotel and then the second one is Harry Potter at Warner Brothers Studio. So look out for them. Um, so they'll go up whilst we're away and then when we're back the Disneyland Paris vlogs will start. So thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you real soon.